Hello, people! Today I'm going to talk about anime and manga, or like my favorite series and stuff, while I, I guess, do makeup. Actually, I'm going to attempt and cosplay a specific character. Maybe you'll guess who it is. Well, actually, I'm sure the thumbnail is going to have like the picture of it, so. But this is my first time filming like a get ready with me style video so I'm sure this is going to be a bit awkward Sorry for that But anyway, actually I started watching anime back when I was in Australia when I was like really young, like primary school And in the morning before school there was a like a morning TV show thing called Cheese TV I'm sure people know this if they're from Australia like they have to do this and that's how I learned about just like anime and stuff in general. So I think the first series that I watched was probably like Pokemon or something. Pokemon, Digimon, Dragon Ball, that kind of stuff. But then fast forward to maybe, I think maybe when I was like 10 or 11, I was going to the library and borrowing books. But then I realized there was this section of comic books and that's where I first learned about Fruits Basket. So that was actually the first manga I ever read from borrowing it in the library. So that was a really long time ago, like when I was a kid. And then now, I don't even know how many series I've watched or like how many I've read when I had a my anime list I I like had easily a couple thousand so yeah it's like when people like when I meet people first for the first time and they ask me like do I read and like read manga I watch anime I'm like yes but then I don't mention how much I actually read <laughs> Because I can't reveal my power level that easy because like I'm sure like a regular person is like here But then I'm like all the way up here. So I just like let them feel it out and Just agree with them be like, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah But really I probably know like every single character and like all the voice actors and everything like I'm really Really into it. I don't know like I didn't even used to tell people or like show that I was that I was into this kind of stuff because I thought it was a bit embarrassing but then like I've got over that now and I'm pretty open-ish I guess like it's no more like not more of a secret or like something that I hide oh I forgot to put my contacts in first I gotta do that so what prompted this was actually Halloween so like three no two years ago yeah two years ago I think my friend invited me to like an anime an anime Halloween party and that was the first time I ever like cosplayed and then who was I uh, I think I was that's why you know from Mirai Nikki. It was fun, surprisingly. Like I didn't think I'd enjoy. Oh. Oh. Ah, I knew it. I didn't think I'd enjoy doing this so much. And so every Halloween I've like since then I have been dressing up as a character just for fun. Oh, I hate wearing circle lens. Oh, I'm tearing up. After that last year was Shinobu from Monogatari series and then I actually went to my first ever con in that but no one knows who I, no one knew who I was like I don't think I was that bad but like I thought that was a really 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 popular series people didn't know who I was so weird even when I mentioned like Bakemonogatari or something I think ever since then 
realizing that people didn't know as many characters as I thought they did. Uh, that I realized my power level was so high. Uh, I might just pop them out for a bit actually. Put them on. Oh crap, my camera fell. No. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Why am I tearing up so much? <laughs> I might be able to get away with my foundation as well. Like my friends and stuff are all into it, but I think, like I still think that I'm probably into it the most. Oh, by the way, I'm using like this. Oh no! Damn it, my camera did a weird thing just then. All I did was chuck this thingy into ochre. These two colors. And I'm going to create a sort of like a crazy thing. By the way, I'm not good at makeup, I'm just doing this for fun. So, yeah, my favourite series, characters, um, like songs, soundtracks, that kind of stuff. I think one of my favourites is definitely Madoka. Puella Magi, Magi, Madoka Magika. I don't know, I like that kind of despair magical girl genre i guess it's called like zetsubo maho shoujo i guess it's that would be like despair i think from then because everything like all the magical girl stuff i watched until then was like sailor moon card captors like cute fluffy things and then after that i was like <gasps> this is what a magical girl stuff could be and then my eyes really opened up and also the music in that is so good especially the maze the witch of maze music it's like i don't know it's really good the only thing i don't like is the art like it took me a few tries to watch it because i'm like oh, i can't deal with the eyes oh my gosh it's so weird but then i got over it so whatever so if you watch that, I think you should definitely watch the movie version, that way you have the transformation scenes. Because transformation scenes are very important in magical girl stuff. And then for another magical girl series that I really like would be Yu Yu Yu, Yuki Yuna wa Yu Shadearu, which is Yuna Yuki is a hero, I guess. But that's also really good. That's also despair magical girl. For that every episode that I watched, I was like crying all by myself. It was so good. Like it was so good. And then when I finished that, I had to watch it again from the beginning again. And also they have some of my favorite voice actors in there. Like Hanakana is in there. And then Mimori Suzuko. Please excuse my runny nose. I don't know why this is happening to me. For non-magical girl stuff, Full Metal Alchemist, definitely one of my top favorites. Like every so often, I actually rewatch that. I think I've watched it like five times. Think the whole series. Oh, I mean Brotherhood, by the way, not the not the one where it like deviates from the original story because I didn't like that one at all. And the character development in that is so good and it's really satisfying. I remember reading the manga version of that back in the day before it finished. Oh, that was good. Oh, that reminds me. Hold on. One of my current, like, maybe not even my current, one of my, like, forever favorites is actually Attack on Titan. Shingeki no Kyojin. Oh my god. But like everyone around me only watches it, no one reads it. So I have no one to read, to like talk about it with. And like, I'm like a ticking time bomb. I want to discuss, I have so many things to discuss. It's so good. Like, <laughs> when the final season comes out, man, oh my gosh. I'm going to be sitting there like, but that one is probably like one of my, 
not even just my but like in general like one of the best series out there but it will be interesting to see how the studio change goes I'm interested to see how Mappa does Ooh, so long and pointy okay I think I actually have to put on foundation because I'm so red from my nose running damn it I might just go with this actually this is just not even a foundation it's a tinted moisturizer <laughs> I don't want to use foundation what else is there that I really like Code Geass is definitely one of my favorites that one's something I watch re-watch every couple of years as well Like even, how many years has it been? I think it's been like more than 10 years since it came out and it still really holds up compared to everything else that's out there. Like it's so good. But then for some reason, when I talk about it to people, they're like, what? I thought it was a popular series. So I'm confused. For manga, Hoseki no Kuni is very, very nice. I really really enjoy the art of that it's like it's really beautiful but also not typical manga style and the story is very I don't even know what you would con like consider it com like besides supernatural fantasy whatever oh and there's another one um Kijo do you mean to do something something oh no my camera it just touched the screen no no okay okay the english name of it was like we're 10 meters apart or something the title page is like uh some person reaching out let me find it ah that one is sort of like it's very like haunting sort of beautiful but like I don't know but it's not really she's not very popular with like mainstream definitely and then I like that it's like she does Lolita style clothing for everyone which is really rare what is happening here mm. I don't know how I feel about this yet Moving along. Gonna do my eyeliner. Oh, for sports. Haikyuu is really good. But then I finished already and I haven't caught up yet. Like the characters are so... I enjoy seeing what the characters go through. And how they develop. They don't feel very flat. Which is what I enjoy. Because I hate it when a series is just like... They do, nothing changes about the character, so it's just like, mm, why am I reading this? For music, like the actual music, not the soundtrack, I really enjoy the Monogatari music. Like all the openings change during each mini arc, and it's so much, so much effort, so much budget. Completely did it still. And like every song is such a bop. And then, like I guess people know that I like Love Live. But Muse, Muse I enjoyed. But then when Aquas came out, I'm like, oh my gosh. They put in so much more effort, it's less idol esque. And they decided to branch out from just cutesy stuff. Like Saint Snow has such great music. And they sing so well. It's too bad that the mixing isn't as good as Aquas, well, since they're the side unit. So it's to be expected. And then there is also Roselia from Bangdori. Bang I've actually never watched it. Like, I found the music through Spotify and didn't even realize it was from, from there until my friend told me. But that's how much I like the music.
Well, some of my favorite scenes would have to be in Madoka, where QB explains. How should I say this? Uh, how witches are formed. And then I like, really, really like the wordplay in that because that, along with the music and the reaction, was just like. And how Maho Shoujo becomes Majo. So, like, they took the Ma and the Jo from Maho Shoujo and then put it into Majo. So, this entire time was that they were going to become witches. And the first time I saw that, I'm like, it makes sense. Oh dear, this was not did not do that good. Mm. Why is this not turning out how I wanted it to? Whatever. Oh, and also another one is definitely in Code Geass where before Euphemia is supposed to address the Japanese people like to make them free and Lelouch's Geass goes out of control Oh, that was good mostly because his voice actor is so good I'm such a fan Fukuyama Jun, I think it was Oh, I will say that actually I don't really watch that much anime anymore. I'd rather read it because it takes less time and I can just like lay in bed or like be on a shoot and just be like on my phone like. So like everyone who asked me if I wa if I've watched stuff like Kimetsu no Yaiba, I tried to read that. I didn't like it. And I wanted to like it because I like the idea of it, but then wasn't that great and then also so many people asked if I liked or if I watched Nana or Paradise Kiss Paradise Kiss I saw a bit of it but then I got bored and then Nana I refuse <laughs> I refuse to read like, I refuse to watch it because it's never going to be finished and I can't deal with I need the closure if there's a chance that one day it will be continued then I will start it and finish it, but like, no, no, no. Oh, yeah, Jojo kept on appearing actually. And I, I've been reading that for a couple of years actually now. Uh, and I'm like, I'm reading part eight, but then I like to wait for things to come out and then just like go ham on it, like all at once. So right now I'm currently waiting to read a lot of it at once. And I really enjoy Jojo. <laughs> My test attempt on this went up so much better. Oh, Kimoto Yumaru is also a series I really, really like. Maybe it's because I relate so hard to her. <laughs> and like being obsessed with her brother, that's literally me. And then like her home version versus her when she's out is very accurate for me too. Oh, I have this thingy. It's literally just like all of my indie eyeshadows that I've pressed because indie shadows always come loose. I'm doing this with a duochrome shadow because when the gears activate, it sort of glows.
Oh, I was, <laughs> I was too concentrated and I forgot to talk. When it comes to opening and endings, bleach is, is it bleach? I guess bleach and format alchemists have my favorite ones. Like out of so, 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 so many of them, I think majority of them are really good. I really like Uso from, I think it's the first ending of Full Metal Alchemist. It's like what I was seeing at karaoke as well. I really enjoy it when it's the characters that sing the opening and ending as well. I don't know, it's really cute. So like k and stuff like all those musical series all have that. And k has really good music. That's also a series that I watch, like I rewatch every so often as well. Or like when I'm eating and I have nothing to do, I just watch it. And surprisingly, you, you, you also, the opening is sung by the characters. And oh my gosh. Honestly, that series is so good. I hope they continue animating that, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Another series that has really, really good music is Marcos Frontier. That's also music that I, stuff that I sing a lot at karaoke. That series is so old and it's so good still. And honestly, I can't believe something like that was released in the 90s. It was so controversial. Like I didn't even watch it until I was like recently. But I've known about it for a really long time, but then... But then now, even now, it's probably better than most of the things that come out now. That's also a reason why I don't really watch that much. Anyway, it's because it's just all like more stuff. But I guess because I need to make money. So it makes sense, but like, yeah, I'm not... Like I enjoy it, but I don't really want to watch that kind of stuff. Ugh, the back is a bit... It's okay, no one can see it. Gotta grab my wink. Or should I put my thing on first? I should put my thing on first. A return with a jacket on. Do 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 do. No recap, ha ha ha. I think it's okay. What am I even doing? 